Hey guys. What are you? Oh, it's a fat kid thing. Uh, what do you think? What do you think we're doing today? Maybe something under the trailer? Probably. Well, if you guys watch my channel, you guys know I like my trailer. This is underneath my load trail. It is a 8K axle deck over trailer. It's 17, 17 foot with a, uh, what is it, with a 5 foot dove. It's 22 foot. I wish it was 24 foot, but there wasn't any to be had when I went to buy the trailer. There was, but they already sold it. So I did a video after I first bought it because I was I was amazed. I was like, oh, this is amazing. First trailer I ever brought home and I don't have to climb under it to adjust my brakes. So I did a video how to adjust, never adjust brakes for the first time. Since then, they work great, they work great, they work great. One day they didn't work great. Now I can feel, you know, only half of the brakes are stopping the truck. The 8K brakes are amazing. Um, love the trailers with 8K brakes. I'm never going back, but it's time to adjust them. Yes, I'm adjusting, never adjust brakes. Now I remember when I first got this and I had to figure out how to, I, I thought I had to figure out how to adjust my brakes. Um, you can it's it's very difficult to see but there's rubber plugs right there and if i remember right i got in there and i could actually adjust them it was very very difficult but i could get in there and adjust them so we are going to learn together how to adjust never adjust brakes because they are no longer adjusted and i, I need to adjust my brakes they need to be able to stop the trailer adequately or better than adequately with equipment on it. So, uh, let's get to it. All right, I haven't checked it yet. Um, let's see, you guys hang out there. All I did was put the jack under it. We just got back from trying to adjust them that doesn't look good that one's spinning pretty easy those are not adjusted <laughs> that is not a properly adjusted trailer brake all right uh i'm gonna pull the wheels off anyway so i can do a rotation because uh this one's chopped up pretty good I'll show you guys this one's chopped up pretty good. Not quite sure what's going on. There's no play in my wheel. Um, the back one's fine. I'm guessing I, both of the fronts are like this. They've been on here for a while. Um, I, I, I just don't know. I don't know why both of them are chopped up so bad like that in the front. I may call my dealer. I may call Chance. I mean, maybe possibly something's wrong with this front axle. I don't know. But that one's nice. That one's chopped to sin. I don't know. I guess it's a... I, I may make another phone call to Chance. I called him and asked him about the brakes. He was like, I'll drive it and hit the brakes like he did before. Didn't work, so we're going to have to adjust him. Um, I'm going to pull the wheels off. I'm going to get jack stand under it and make it safe. And we're going to adjust the brakes. Okay. Well, this is a U-bolt. This is a U-bolt off this trailer. What I decided to do, because I couldn't remember what was in there, I took my U-bolts off so I could pull those little things off. And you probably can't see in there, but I ad I adjusted this brake. Well, I say I adjusted it. I did. It needs a little more. Because, obviously, it spins and spins and spins. But I wanted to take the U-bolts off. And, yes, I know some people don't reuse U-bolts, but I would have reused this U-bolt if 
it wouldn't have stripped the threads off. That's fun. So, I went to my farm store. If you're in the Kansas City area, you know Feldman's. The U-bolts just happen to be a 9 16 by 3 and 3 quarter. It's a 9 16 uh, rod, 3 and 3 quarter spread, 8 inches long. That's what this is. For an 8K trailer, I mean, granted, they're a touch long, but um, it's totally fine. Especially when you need U-bolts to put your trailer back together. Well, I believe I came up with the best thing that I could possibly come up with here. What I've got is a hole saw. This is a three-quarter hole saw. It's the smallest one I had. Bam. Let's see. Put some light on the subject. Look. Look right in there. See what you're staring at? You are staring at a star wheel. And... You probably wouldn't be able to see it because I can't get enough light in there. But you can get to the uh, the little tab in there. I mean, I can get my finger. I got some pretty fat fingers. I can get my finger in there and I can roll that star wheel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on an e-store. I'm going to order some three-quarter inch uh, rubber grommets. Hopefully, I can get three-quarter inch rubber grommets. If not, I'll get some of those plastic... Uh, you know, it's kind of like a oh, plastic hole cover type of thing. Um, anyways, I, I'll get something to push in it. But I'm going to do the next one, and I'm going to adjust it and all that and let you guys watch the process so you can see it, uh, it went quite well. I'm surprised it actually went that well. So let me move my stuff up there, and we'll be... Uh, We'll be adjusting this baby in just a minute. And I got my new U-bolts on. So, hang out. All right. And this one is not adjusted. As you can see, it shouldn't spin like that. I tried to do it right in the middle, as close to the middle as I could. They need to make uh, parking brakes on creepers. Uh, I'm like sliding all around back here. Probably, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it's not fun. Slug, hot, smoking in my hands. Uh, trying to get what little bit of metal shavings I can see them down here. I don't know if you guys can see them, but that whole saw actually cut pretty nice. I think just because it's brand new, I never used a, never used it. It's so small. I'm trying to deburr. I like mine about like that. 
it just barely grabs it gets let's mark it i don't know what are you guys seeing right now yeah let's see if we can mark this actually here well there you go my finger mark right there right about one rotation that's what i like that worked out pretty good huh okay well uh i think i'm gonna do that on the other side so um i guess you guys hang out i'm gonna go ahead and get this other side drilled and adjusted and then uh we'll go on a test drive what do you think all right give me this one minute now if you guys know a different way to do these i tried driving this truck multiple times turn my brake controller all the way up all the way down going in reverse going forward hitting it with the hand thing multiple multiple times i could get one brake over on this other side to go that's it one brake adjusted out of all the other out, out of all four of them one brake adjusted so if you guys know the proper way to do this i guess let me know um and i'll make another video and i'll tell people how you're supposed to do it but this is how i'm doing it and like i said with this little bit bigger axle tube here um you know the axle tubes on 8ks are a little bit bigger than 7ks um but then i've got a pretty good size leaf pack here for the 8ks um over the 7ks and i mean i think this may actually be a heavy duty uh 8k spring pack because it seems like this is like a at least a 10k uh spring pack um but you know you get all that height there so now this plate is going to be where your adjuster is so uh that being said that's the whole reason i'm trying to do this i want to be able to adjust my brakes i don't care if they were you know i know they're never adjust and if they worked i wouldn't have to do this but um this is going to be a good option i hope i can get some three quarter inch grommets you would think that i could but see i'll be able to fish that in between the plate because there is a little bit of space in between here not much but i should be able to fish a o-ring up or a, a grommet up in there and push a grommet into it but man there is there's some tight tolerances right here there's not a lot of room not a lot of room at all um anyways but uh we'll be back in just a second and we'll go on a test drive all right well here we go on a test drive we're gonna see what this does i mean it already feels better it won't hold me it won't hold me in a light though what's going on i still feel like i need to adjust them out just a little bit but i think it'd be way better than what it was i didn't want to adjust them out too far and have them locking up out here and then have to have to try to limp it back to the house feels good no tires locking up um they can be adjusted up probably two more clicks or so um but i definitely like the uh the little modification the hole's big enough now and it's it's in a, a good enough spot that i can get my brake adjustment tool in there i just use an old school drum brake adjustment tool i mean that's what trailer brakes are drum brakes but i was I was in the day when brand new vehicles had drum brakes on them. Um, anyways, I would uh, I would definitely say it's... Oh, did it lock up? I even locked one up. I think I'm actually... There's one on the right hand... Oh, no, that was probably from before. I don't know. It might have. Nope, I can get one to lock up. So one's a little tight. I think it's the front uh, passenger side. It was a little snugger than the others. Um but i blew all the brakes out everything else um i got all the metal shavings out all the all the little discs where i cut the whole saw hole in it um they're all pulled out so i'd say we're good to go like i might uh i might just run back to the house yeah see that one i just drug it tire there but it's hard to get 
these big brakes to run around. I actually have my brake controller turned up way more than what I normally do if it's an empty trailer. I actually had it turned up to where I had the excavator on. So normally I turn it down to like four volts, three and a half volts if it's empty. Um, anyways, I hope you got something out of the video. I don't know if it's the right way to do it, but that's the way I'm going to do it. Um, I definitely don't see a problem with it. That way I can adjust the dang brakes. Um, I'm going to see what grommets I can find. I'm going to pop some grommets in it, and we will be off to the races. So, again, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.